أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحانك لا علمنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم ففهمنا سليمان وكلنا تين حكم وعلم رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحلل أقدتاني من لساني يحفكه قولي ولا حول ولا قوة لا بالله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and pray you are all well on this uh, Wednesday evening. Uh, welcome to Questions and Answers. I'm your host, Amjid Muhammad. Um, I was trying to uh, do two things at the same time, which is always a problem, especially for blokes. I always stick to single tasking, multitasking, leave for other people. Uh, anyway, it's a, a, a short first session. And that's also what was throwing me out because I was trying to also work out the tertib in my mind as to how I'm going to play this. Uh, so a short first session, only several minutes, and then we're going to go for Adhan, inshallah, and then a longer session when we return. So in case you can get a question in, why not? The number to call is 01274 214 299. That's 01274 214 299. That's the number to dial. And here you will get through to us in the studio, and we'll be able to air your questions directly and be able to respond and answer to them as well. If, on the other hand, you wish to email, then the email address is Q&A, that's Q-A-N-D-A, at iqra.tv. That's Q-A-N-D-A, at iqra.tv, I-Q-R-A dot TV. So as I said, we've just got a few minutes, really, uh, just to kind of make the introductions, to be honest, uh, before we disappear and return for the longer session uh, when we can speak about uh, the questions that we have in more detail. Also remind you, as it's the beginning of the week, well, it's not the beginning of the week for you, but it's the beginning of the week for me in terms of uh, question and answers, that, inshallah, next Friday, uh, we're going to be delivering a special two-hour session on basically business and how do you make money, how do Muslims engage with uh, or try to achieve well, earn money, uh, but at the same time, the hindrances, as it may be perceived, that other communities don't have, that we have within the Sharia, where there's certain stipulations and regulations of how we can engage and do business. So it's a bit different. We're hoping to have at least a guest or two here in the studio. We're also hoping to uh, take maybe calls from some, some special people out there who want to uh, query that, and also members of the audience as well. And uh, we're also looking at preparing some little short clips uh, which can run in uh, tandem with the live bits that will be coming from the studio. So it's something different, something that I've not done before. We've done, obviously, fundraising before during Ramadan for Al Khair Foundation, probably going to be doing something similar this year as well. So we have done live and uh, and then call-ins from, from uh, not necessarily members of the public, but key individuals that work within the charity sector. And then we had little videos running in the background. We also had the little documentaries, a couple of minutes long, explaining of where the money is going and how it's being spent. So it's a bit like that, uh, but different in the sense that obviously this is particularly about business and about making money. Now, just speaking to the producer before I went on air in terms of uh, getting a short promotional kind of material out there. So hopefully we'll film that tomorrow and that will be then be running uh, sort of as soon as it's ready probably back end of this week, up until next week's Friday show. And we're also going to be doing some clips, as I said, to have uh, kind of amalgamated, have it within the actual uh, program as well. So it's a bit different. Uh, I hope you can uh, free up your calendar, free up your diary uh, to be able to attend that later on, inshallah. So that's that. Uh, but anyway, back to today's show. Uh, question and answers. Now, we've got a couple of minutes. As I normally do, uh, I'm going to take some questions from the forum that I have. And what I would say is, please do call in in the next few minutes. If for whatever reason you don't get through or you don't, then I would suggest calling after Avan takes place. So let's deal with the, uh, some questions that we already have. Um, here we go. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I would like to know how to ward off Nazar. We were taught to take red chilies and salt and pray three times Durud Sharif, ward off of seven times clockwise. So I think this means turn them clockwise seven times and pray Durud Sharif at the end and throw it away in the sink without looking at it. Can I know is it the correct method or not? 
Well, I think by my reaction, you can tell that he definitely isn't. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This most definitely is not the correct method. Uh, this is something which has just been made up, fabricated. There is nothing in taking green chilies and burning them and reciting, <coughs> excuse me, the rule sharif upon them and spinning them around seven times over a person's head and not looking at them when throwing in, in, the, in the sink or something. This is absolutely incorrect and has no benefit whatsoever. Uh, rather, um, what we have is, uh, hold on, I got interrupted there partway. Rather, what we have is that uh, instead of doing anything like this to protect oneself from nazar, then what one has to do is to um, recite upon ourselves, recite Ayatul Kursi, recite the four quls. Uh, these are things which will protect you. Don't share any happiness or pictures وغيرها, on social media. Nazar will naturally take place. Try to conceal all the good things in your life. Try not to be apparent about the good things in your life. Don't show them to anybody. Uh, don't disclose them to anybody. Keep them a secret. Uh, because Nazar, remember, is not usually due to evil eye or to black magic. Nazar is usually comes from a loved one. Somebody who sees something and is happy for you. But they say that, oh, look at that, isn't that great? You know, this person's so healthy, this person's so great, this person's so fantastic. Aren't they so lucky that they've got, uh, you know, this child or look how beautiful their child looks. So it's never evil. There's no like, oh, you know, I wish, I wish their child was dead or, or, you know, look at them showing off about how good their life is. I hope Allah puts a lot on it. You know, this is not, this is evil like. There's evil intention. Nazar is something which is a little bit uh, more, you know, fr it comes from good people that, or good people around you, not from evil people. So sorry about that short interruption that took place there. So yeah, so you know, we have a habit now, don't we, on social media that we uh, continuously put up all our social media on the, uh, um, uh, sorry, continuously put pictures up on social media. And what we fail to realize is that when you're putting all these cute pictures up and all these things, people are going to do Nazar. They're going to say good things and, you know, and that's going to cause problems for you. So we should avoid doing that. Anyway, as I said, a very uh, you know, short start and stop session. Uh, we're going to now take a break. We're going to return after the break and uh, we will then have a longer uh, undisturbed session. It gives you time to think up your questions uh, so that you can call in. Please don't call in now. Uh, I will remind you when we come back on air, I will remind you of the number and I will remind you of the email. So see you soon shortly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.